I'm telling you right now, it is an accident waiting to happen somewhere. If they don't understand that you're the landlord, they're going to look to you to give them concessions at some point. And so now this beautiful dream of a situation that you, that you set up for yourself to where you living in one unit, the tenant next door is paying your rent or paying your mortgage. Now you're living free. You've eliminated the number one expense for most Americans in this country, which is your living expense by way of living somewhere and having someone take care of that. Why would you cannibalize that opportunity by way of letting them know that you're the owner of the property? I'm gonna share with you in this video the number one thing that you need to know and understand about house hacking to keep you from having a house hacking nightmare, all right? House hacking has clearly become one of the most popular topics in the real estate industry, especially for those that wanna break into become um, a property owner, right? And have a cash flow property. And there's a lot of advantages to that strategy, right? Low interest rates, high leverage, because you go into the banks oftentimes getting you know, a conforming loan. Maybe you got small down, down payment. If you got a VA loan, maybe you got no down payment, right? And so there's a lot of advantages to going out and utilizing this vehicle called house hacking. Depending on where your season is in life, could be a great fit for you, right? Maybe you don't have a family yet and you're somebody that's single or just dating and you can go and rent out or well, live in one side of the, the two family and rent out the other side. Or maybe you even got four units and you could really start to, to compound your growth um, in one place, right? Because now all of a sudden, one of the units takes care of the, the debt service and then you got two units that's free cash flow. So it's an amazing opportunity that could, that could be a foundational stone to set you up and start building wealth at a young age or whatever age that you're currently at, right? But let's talk about the most important aspect to when you go out and house hack. The thing that would be your absolute demise if you don't get it right. Never let them know you're the landlord, okay? This is the most critical step in this process. Now just imagine this, right? Imagine you you living in one unit. Let's just say you got one tenant, right? Tenant next door. Y'all becoming good friends. You know, maybe maybe you know y'all watched the game together, had a couple beers together. You know, whatever. Y'all become friends over time. <clears throat> well, becoming friends, you start to uncovering and discover things about the other person. The last thing you want to happen is that in the process of becoming friends that they understand that you're the one that they pay their rent to. Because now all of their problems just became your problem. And that's the biggest problem with you ever being able to collect your rent. And the worst part about that is that you can't get away from this individual because you live right next door to them. So, so the best way to set up your house hack scenario is to go out and get a property management company. Never let the tenant next door know that you're the landlord. And I know everybody's gonna have different difference of opinions and that's great, put the comments below. But I'm telling you right now, it is an accident waiting to happen somewhere. If they don't understand that you're the landlord, they're going to look to you to give them concessions at some point. And so now this beautiful dream of a situation that you that you set up for yourself to where you living in one unit, the tenant next door is paying your rent or paying your mortgage. Now you're living free. You've eliminated the number one expense for most Americans in this country, which is your living expense by way of living somewhere and having someone take care of that. Why would you cannibalize that opportunity by way of letting them know that you're the owner of the property, okay? Now, if you're somebody that's analytical and you wanna be even more strategic, you can go out and put the property in a trust to then further insulate yourself from somebody going and looking up public record and finding out who the property owner is. But I'm gonna tell you right now, most people are lazy and I don't think it'll ever get to that. But if that made you feel more comfortable, you can by all means go do that. But in broad strokes, just by going out and hiring a property management company, having that property management company deal directly with that tenant. Let's just say, right, that you got a tenant that, that's paying you a thousand bucks. You mean to tell me 8%, 80 bucks a month is not worth having a liaison and mitigating your risk of ever having to deal with the fallout behind that tenant not paying their rent and because their the girlfriend or their mom or whatever, their personal situation becomes your business situation, right? Why not give somebody that 8%? We gotta start thinking differently. It's not necessarily what we do, it's always how we do it though. 
And to further protect yourself and insulate yourself and protect your dream of living, you know, with no living expense, then you need to put this liaison in place to insulate yourself from the impact of that. Just think about like, so that's the business side, but just thinking about how people always say that, you know, it's not personal, it's business. Listen, business is very personal. Don't let them fool you. And the worst personal business that you will ever have is the one that's next door to you in the same dwelling that you live in. And I promise you right now, that tenant don't pay you rent. They give you the story and you're their buddy, by the way. So you're supposed to think and feel about them differently. They say, I'm gonna have it Friday. They don't have it Friday. A month goes by, two months go by, three months go by. Y'all went from hanging out on the couch and in the backyard having beers and barbecue so now y'all want to barbecue on the front porch, if you know what I'm saying. So just think about having to come home every day and deal with that. Not, you know, either it's friction when y'all see each other and then it becomes a situation where you're trying to avoid one another. Then they become a nasty individual because now they count in your pocket. I'm paying for you to live here. See how the roles reverse all of a sudden? They doing you a favor. I'm paying for you to live here. The least you could do is give me three months, right? I see the car that you drive. I see the furniture in your house. I see it's the worst thing that can happen. Now, I will tell you this though. It could also be, if you set it up the right way and you put this liaison in between you guys in the form of a property management company. I think there's a lot of benefit if you're someone who is living in your house at, whether you got three tenants, two tenants, one tenant, right? Triplex, duplex, or quad. Um, because you you get to have more of a under a working understanding a understanding of what's going on at your property than most people, right? But 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 it's only an advantage if you do it undercover. I would just be one of the other people living there. I would want to know that you know they throwing parties all the time. I would want to know that they got four extra people staying in the house, although only two was on the, the lease. I want to know that they didn't pay a pet fee, but they got a pet that they got living there. Right. I would want to know all of those things. And the only way that you do that is to truly be undercover and live in there as if you just wanted up one of them. You'll find out all the existing issues at the property. You'll understand all the angles that they run in on the property management company. Like that can be your biggest ally or your worst detriment, depending on how you leverage that opportunity in that capacity. So I'll let you make the decision. Right. I'm just here to provide the context. If you thought this was helpful for you and somebody else, all I ask is that you like, share, comment and more importantly turn that not notification bell on. i want y'all to get notified as i bring more of this content to you guys that can essentially change the trajectory today of your current financial situation until next time